Welcome back to another one. Today we were gonna go hunting. Change of plans. I am about to step up the barbecue game. I thought the brisket was something. I've got an eight pound pork shoulder. We're making pulled pork today. All right, guys, it's now one o'clock. This has been on since 10.30. Let's go see what it's doing. What's it doing? It's cooking, that's what it's doing. That's catching all the drippings. I'm gonna use that as a marinade. I'm just gonna scoop it up and pour it on top. The bacon on top, it didn't call for bacon, but I put it on there anyways, cuz. Bacon goes with everything. Should also tell you, that is a chunk of cherry wood compliments of James Kitzel. And I'm using this Duraflame lump charcoal. Kind of mixed feelings on that right now. This is the second bag. I bought two bags. Um, it doesn't seem to last as long as a briquette, but maybe that's by design. It does say burns fast and hot. Maybe that's, uh, never mind. Guessing maybe that's why it doesn't last as long. Am I expecting too much out of this? Those of you that use this stuff, let me know. Am I expecting too much out of this? I just want to eat. So I'm gonna run this thing all day long, probably for the next, pushing one o'clock, next five hours. As the day keeps going, I'll, start, I'll keep adding some charcoal to it. I've got another two pieces of cherry that I wanna put in there, and hopefully that'll take us right to the end. All right guys, we've been sitting at 175 for quite a while now, it's about four o'clock. Let's see what we got. So I guess we're closing in on about seven hours roughly. That should be good. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Just a bit of a recap. I took that 8 pound shoulder, cut off some excess fat, I left the fat cap on it, and I did score it. Also, I covered the whole thing in brown sugar. I got the coals rolling at about 275 to 300. I put it on with the fat cap up. I also put a drip tray down below with some water in it. And what that does is catch, obviously catches all the drippings. But you also use that as a marinade throughout the cook. And as you can see, approximately eight hours later, we have a nice golden pork shoulder. It came apart real nice. We got a lot of great shredded meat off of that. Now, I did have some company over last night. I didn't want to stick the camera in their face, so obviously I'm recording this part the next day. I paired that pulled pork sandwich up with some Four Roses bourbon, and it was delicious. So that is all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit subscribe button, like button, share button. Uh, YouTube is not liking my videos at all. It is, they are getting suppressed, and I say it every video because that's what, exactly what's happening. But if there was something you would like to see me try and cook on my barbecue, leave me a comment down below, and uh, I'll see if I can make that happen. Oh, on a side note, that pork shoulder destroyed my barbecue with the grease and the mess and everything else. So that's getting clean today. With all that said, have yourself an awesome day. I'll see you on the next one. Later. Guys, so the tray down the bottom is catching all the drippings. I put a little seasoning in that, a little bit of water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to suck that up. That didn't sound good. Welcome back to another one. Today, well, I took the eight pound shoulder, covered it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Just a bit of a recap. 